It's early 2013. Hacktivists of the International Anonymous Group post online an email exchange of a PR team. On the surface, there's nothing unusual about it. And yet, the content of the leaked emails sends shockwaves across the Russian business community. The email exchange between the PR people and their clients revealed tons of dirt that were poured at the request of Russian oligarch Mazipin all over his opponents and competitors through 2012 and 2013. The emails contain clear evidence of Mazipin targeting many powerful business people. Head of Russian oil company Rosneft, Igor Sechin, was one of them. However, the main target of the attacks was Talyechizot. The entire PR armory was brought to bear in the attack against this company, from bribing the media to posting false reports online, to using false claims for blackmail, to organizing staged protests, to sending libelous accusations and claims to authorities, and even instigating criminal prosecution on trumped-up charges. PR Artist's email exchange reveals the attack on Talyechizot began in February 2012. Toaz management was accused of illegal business arrangements and tax evasion schemes. Fake letter exchanged was leaked to the media. Bribed media outlets blamed the ammonia producer from March until May 2012 for causing supposed environmental disasters, accusing it of gross disregard for workplace safety. The management was alleged to have bought a football club and a hotel in Europe, and billboard ads were put up simultaneously outside Moscow and in Taliati with content damaging to Talachizot. Things went to new extremes from there. April, fences and building walls of Taliati were vandalized with graffiti. May, an acting company hired by Mazipin's PR specialists staged a protest in the center of Toliati dedicated to the company's role in environmental damage. Organizers didn't even bother to specify the location of the staged rally, confusing the Toliati City Hall with the Stavropol District Administration in a telltale sign that the rally was orchestrated by outsiders who knew nothing about the geography of Toliati. Oh, <laughs> July. A biased opinion poll is taken in Toliati. The first respondents, supposedly city residents, are unanimous about the horrendous environmental damage caused by Toaz. Online and print media publish false statements allegedly made by company management, while the non-existent city residents are flooding government offices with false reports and incendiary letters. In the summer, PR specialists find new topics, publishing a manifesto by the gay community which allegedly supports TOAS against its adversaries. The attack on the company continues in June and July. The media publish paid-for reports about the supposedly upcoming sale of the ammonia producer to the Chinese, designed to sow discontent with the management among employees. TOAS management is even blamed for a high-profile traffic accident involving Toliati businessman Sergei Elektorovich. Fall of 2012. Attacks on Tilechizot intensify. Green Patrol, a Moscow environmental activist organization bribed by Orahim, accuses the ammonia producer of supposed violations of environmental laws. In October 2012, following an employee rally to protect traditional values after the Pussy Riot prank, Bribed media publish false reports completely distorting the idea and purpose of the rally and grossly misquoting Toa's employees who spoke at the rally. Throughout late spring, summer, and early fall, at the time of political protest rallies in Moscow, the media accused TOAS management of supporting the illegal opposition in Moscow. During the entire 2012, Urahim instigates several criminal investigations against Talyetkizot on false charges. The media publish a constant stream of stories discrediting the company management and singing praises to law enforcers finding evidence of completely outlandish alleged misdeeds. The media war on Talechizot continues in 2013. Money flows in a broad stream from Urahim's dark wallet for shady expenses to the corrupt media outlets. Urahim PR team made another attempt to discredit Talechizot by playing on politics and falsely accusing Toaz management of financing Ukrainian nationalists and revolution in Ukraine. The email exchange posted online provides incontrovertible evidence that it is Urahim and personally Dmitry Mazipin who are behind the attacks on Talyetkizot 
one of Russia's largest industrial companies. There is now conclusive evidence for this. First, it is clear from the email exchange that the PR artists working for Masipin are not only waging the media war on Tilichizov, but are also the ones placing positive stories about Urahim. Their stories found in the leaked email exchange, the Urahim is always right, while Talichazot is nearly the epitome of universal evil. Second, Mazipin's PR team were very active and painstaking in whitewashing the reputation of Urahim's top management, including Mazipin's right-hand man, Yurad Cheprovov, who was general director at Vuskrasen's Mineral Fertilizers in 2008 to 2011, and has led Azot an Urahim affiliate in Berzniki since April 2012. Both these companies are part of the Urahim group. Cheprovov is an active participant in many illegal corporate takeovers and blackmail attacks against companies that fell within the scope of Mazipin's interest. And finally, the most important part of this story is that Urahim was claiming throughout the conflict that it had nothing to do with Eurotohas Limited, and yet, it was through Eurotoas that Mazipin tried to grab a significant stake in Talichazot for himself. It has become clear from the email exchange disclosed by the hacktivists, Mazipin was lying all along. It was precisely the PR artists hired by the oligarch who sent out all the press releases and open letters on behalf of Eurotoas Limited that were subsequently published by the media. The last doubts that there is a connection between the two companies were finally put to rest after an Urahim attorney was seen representing Eurotoas Limited at a Supreme Arbitration Court's hearing of the Talietkizot appeal on the ruling the Volga Federal Arbitration Court. The email exchange leaked by the anonymous group and other facts are irrefutable proof that Urahim and Eurotoas Limited are inextricably connected and any attempts to present Eurotoras Limited as an independent company are merely Mazipin's bold-faced lies. Defense of Talichazot continues, and documents, including payment receipts listing names and specific amounts paid by Urahim for selling out their professional integrity should become grounds for criminal prosecution of Mazipin and his henchmen. Irrefutable evidence of involvement by Mazipin and his team in the defamation war on Talichazot are not limited to dark PR and having the media print negative stories about the company. Things are going to get even more interesting. <laughs>